Ah, ah, ah. Don't touch that dial. Listen to Blondie, brought to you by the makers of Camel Cigarettes. Extra, extra! For extra flavor, get Camel. Extra! For extra mildness and extra coolness, get Camel. Extra! For extra smoking per pack, get Camels, the cigarette that gives you the extras. Now, before we drop over to the Bumstead house to visit Chick Young's famous characters, Blondie and Dagwood, a word from the makers of Camel Cigarettes. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems that everywhere we turn today, we're confronted with speed and more speed. In our daily lives, it's hurry or I'll be late for my train. I can't stop now. I haven't time. Yes, universally, life has been speeded up. But there's a different story in cigarettes. Every day, more and more smokers, experienced smokers are discovering that the extras in smoking pleasure are on the slow side, the slow-burning camel side. Science puts it this way. Cigarettes that burn fast burn hot, and nothing so surely mars the delicate elements of cigarette flavor and fragrance as excess heat. Slow burning preserves these precious natural qualities, gives you more mildness, more flavor, more coolness, of course. Science also tells you which cigarette is slower burning. In recent impartial laboratory tests, camels burn 25% slower than the average of the 15 other of the largest selling brands tested, slower than any of them. Yes, science points the way, and the experience of millions of smokers confirms it. Slower burning camels give you extra mildness, extra coolness, extra flavor, and extra smoking, equal on the average to five extra smokes per pack. Penny for penny, camels are your best cigarette buy. And now for our weekly visit with the Bumsteads. It's morning, and Blondie stands at the foot of the stairs, sounding her usual reveille to the man of the house. Dagwood! Breakfast! Good morning, Mommy. Hello, baby Dumplin'. Go tell Daddy his breakfast is ready. I can't tell him, Mommy. He's up and gone out. Gone out? Uh Uh-huh. As soon as you went downstairs, he got up and got dressed and got out. Well, well, how funny. I didn't hear him. He went tippy-toe, Mommy. Tiptoed out of the house without his breakfast? Hmm. Didn't he say anything to you before he went out? Uh-huh. He said, good morning, would I like to be a gypsy? A uh, gypsy? Uh-huh. Listen, Mommy, that sounds to me like our old car coming home. Why, yes, it's coming up our driveway. Now we'll see what he's been up to. Come on, baby, the back door. Blondie! Hey, hey, Blondie. <laughs> Blondie! Good morning, Dagwood. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> good morning. Uh, I, oh, I thought you were somewhere else. No, Dagwood. Uh, listen, Blondie, it's here. I've got it. <laughs> oh. Got what, Dagwood? A two-burner bed under the sink and a hot and cold running stove that, that sleeps warm. What on earth of are you... Of course, the voice tub was extra, but it can go outside when we're inside or vice versa. And the same with pots and pans. Now, listen, Dagwood. Huh? Count to ten slowly yeah. and then tell me what you bought and how much it cost. Okay, one, two, five, six, nine. Sixty-nine dollars... And he threw in the icebox. Throw it in what, Daddy? Huh? Dagwood, hmm? what did you buy? Well, well, I keep telling you, honey, it's a trailer. A trailer? <laughs> yeah. One of those things you drag behind the car? Why, they cost hundreds of dollars. Oh, no, no honey. Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, but not this one. You see, the fellow that sold it to me had to leave town in a hurry. Who was after him, Daddy? No, no, baby Dumplin', you don't understand. He didn't sell me the trailer because he had to leave town. No, he had to leave town because he sold your father the trailer. No, no, now listen, this was a bargain. Well, let's look at it, Dagwood. (laughs) Sure, come on. On to the unveiling. Oh, boy. Hi, diddly dee. A gypsy's life for me. (laughs) There she is. How's that, huh? Oh, goodness, it's... Huh? Well, it's a funny color, isn't it? Well, we can make it any color. Hey, how's it look to you, baby dumpling, huh? It looks like somebody was moving their hen house. Now, listen, it's bigger than it looks. Boy, what do you see the inside? Oh, a regular little home. Our little rolling home on four wheels. <laughs> One of the tires blew out. Yeah, our little rolling home on three wheels. <laughs> Have to 
Patch the tube, honey. Goodness, uh, what's all the hammering? Yeah. Dagwood, huh? Are you going to hang all those pots and pans on the outside? Uh, sure, honey. We'll need stuff to cook in. Uh, out on the open road. You mean we'll stop overnight in this trailer? Uh, certainly. We're going places and seeing things. Yes, and everywhere we go, people will think they're seeing things. Huh? Oh, well, anyway, it's very tidy inside, honey. I hope so. I like to have a place for everything and everything in its place. Well, in this trailer, some places are for two things. One place for two things? Uh Uh-huh. How do you mean, Dagwood? Well, see, uh, two of the beds flip over, and there's your table for one thing. Oh, my. Just think, baby. The table turns into two beds. Uh Uh Uh-huh. I'll bet there'll be crumbs in my bed. No, no, baby. Those beds are for Daddy and Mommy. Oh, Where does baby sleep, Dagwood? Well, see, uh, the sink kind of flips over, and Uh there's another bed. Cute, huh, baby duckling? Suppose I want a drink of water in the night. Uh Uh-huh. Do I have to get under the bed? No, no, baby doubling. Look, we won't have to use the sink bed except for company, see? Because the stove slips over, too, and there's another bed. Oh, Oh, I'll show you. Look. Uh, Oh, oh, this door is a little stuck. Well, let me pry at the door, Dagwood, while you pull. Hmm? Okay, honey, ready? All right, yeah. One, two. That's what I know. Well, I'll fix it later. Anyway, it's open. Walk right in, Blondie. All right. Have a look around. Uh, oh, it, it's kind of sag, Dagwood. Huh? Are you sure it's safe? Well, why, sure. Let me in there first. I'll show you. Now, see, I just crawl in, mm-hmm. and turn around, and stand up. Oh. oh, oh, Dagwood, did you hurt your head? No, not very much. The more paint came off the roof. D- never mind the paint. The point is, this is a good, strong trailer, Blondie. Look at it. I'll jump up and down to show you. <laughs> Gee, safe as anything. <laughs> your solid little home on four wheels. On three wheels, Dad. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. On two wheels. Yeah. There. Now she's back on four wheels. Well, that's nice, dear. But the spares look kind of worn and ragged to me. Well, they're down underneath where they don't show very much. Oh, well, that's all right. There's a red paint, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Uh, See, I'm going to paint the name on the trailer. Uh, Oh, I think of the right name. Oh, is it going to have a name? Sure, just like a Pullman car. Uh, How's about calling it the Blondie Bumstead? Well, uh, no thanks, Dagwood. Huh? Oh, baby, I think that's our front doorbell. You go see. Hmm? Okay, Mommy. Don't name it after me, Daddy. Yes. Well, gosh, it's a kind of an honor to have anything named after you, isn't it? Well, that depends, dear. I did think I might call it the spirit of J.C. Dither's Construction Company. Uh, I wouldn't, Dagwood. Yeah, why not? Oh, oh, look. Huh? There was a name on here. It's Where? painted over. It says, mm-hmm. um, Miller's Midgets. Oh, yeah, Miller's the one who sold it to me. See, two of his midgets got a divorce and he needed something larger. Hi, Daddy. Huh? Mr. Dithers is in the house. Mr. Dithers? Dagwood, did you know he was coming? Oh, sure. <laughs> I wired the boss to come back from Dobson's Lake. He's all dressed up funny. Hmm? Funny? Uh-huh. He's got on striped pants and his coat is long and back and it says not shut in the front. Oh, that's his cutaway, baby. Gosh, he's doing it upright. He's got a shiny black hat on, too. Yeah. A silk hat? Uh-huh. Dagwood, what in the world for? For the christening, honey. The christening? Sure. One thing Mr. Dithers loves is a christening. Oh, he'll go miles to be a godfather. Dagwood. Huh? You don't mean he's going to christen the trailer? Sure. I mean, if I can think of a name in time. What'll I tell Mr. Dithers, Daddy? Oh, d- tell him the christening will be uh, out here by the garage. Okay. Well, I, I don't know what he'll think when he sees what he's going to christen. Oh, I bet this trailer will bring out the gypsy in him right away. <laughs> huh? I never saw a gypsy in a silk hat. <laughs> <laughs> gypsy. Hey, how would it be to name the trailer uh, the, the Gypsy Queen? The Gypsy's Revenge would be better. Yeah. Come on, let's meet Mr. Dithers at the back door. Okay, honey. I wonder how he looks in a silk hat. Okay. Oh, he doesn't change a bit. Upstate, where are you? Uh, right here, Mr. Dithers. Come on out. I got you wired. I dropped everything. Well, where's the baby? Well, there isn't exactly any baby, Mr. Dithers. Huh? No baby? You mean the christening is off? Oh, no, no, Mr. Dithers. We're christening the Gypsy Queen. Eh? 
Who in the name of the Seventh of Suspicious Sisters is the Gypsy Queen? Stand aside, Dagwood, and let Mr. Dithers see her. Sure. <laughs> Look. Oh. oh. What's that? It's our new trailer. Her name is going to be uh, Gypsy Queen. Mm -hmm. It ought to be Frowsy Lil. Yeah, uh huh? Now, see here, Bumstead. I leave an important job. Come 200 miles, get all dressed Mommy, up, and then... I smell moth. Oh, oh baby. Shh. 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 Quiet, baby. Excuse me till I uh, whisper to Baby Dumpling. Um... Baby, huh? Okay, Daddy. <laughs> oh, oh uh, thanks for wearing your silk hat, Mr. Dillers. Uh, I thought we were christening a baby. Oh, this is better than a baby christening. Uh, listen, you uh, can't break a bottle on a baby, can you? <laughs> huh? Oh, are you breaking a bottle? Sure, you bet. Just like on a battleship. Oh, do I break the bottle? Of course you can. Uh, can he, Daddy? <laughs> sure. I wanted a, an very important man to uh, launch the Gypsy Queen on her travels. Well, I always did like breaking bottles, mm -hmm. but I don't approve of wasting champagne. Yeah, so do I. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's what I thought. So, uh, uh, I got uh, ginger ale. Oh, oh, Dad, but oh. I found that bottle of ginger ale last yeah, night. No and... ginger ale, Daddy, oh. but I brought a bottle of ketchup. Ketchup? I didn't come all the way from Dobson's Lake to break ketchup bottles. Oh, it's better than champagne, Mr. Dithers. It, uh, well, it makes more squish. Sure. Now, don't back out on us now, Mr. Dithers. Uh, listen, you go ahead and christen her with the ketchup, and I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, we'll drive you all the way back to Dobson's Lake in style. Yes, you can ride in the trailer. Yeah. Well, is it easy riding? Sure, just like a private car. Can we start right after the christening? Oh, yes, our bags are all inside. Well, I'll have to wear what I got on. All right, I'll christen it. Stand back, everybody. Yes, stand back, Blondie. Stand back, baby. <laughs> Swing hard, Mr. Dithers. Don't worry. Now, hats off. Yes, yeah, I am. I christened thee the gypsy queen. Oh! Oh, the bottle didn't break. Look at my hand, blood. Oh, that's only a little ketchup. The cork came out. The bottle didn't break. Well, something broke. Oh, look at that all in the trailer. It smashed right through the side. Well, you ought to have stronger sides or weaker bottles. Oh, I can put my head through that hole. You can put your head through the eye of a needle. Oh, never mind, Dagwood. It needed more ventilation anyway. Oh. Now, Mr. Dithers, you get in the trailer and make yourself cozy. Dagwood and I will drive the car. And, baby, you keep Mr. Dithers company in the Jolly Cruise. Yeah, come on. Ready, oh. Dagwood? <laughs> yeah, sure. Then we're off. Oh, we're off for the open road. <laughs> Well, this is the open road, all right. I never saw anything opener. Do you know where we are, Dagwood? Well, I've been going by that map, but there's something's wrong. We should have passed three towns in the last 40 miles. Let's see the map. Mm, there. Mm. Why does the map say Idaho on it, Dagwood? Huh? Why, it's because it's a map... Hey, we're not in Idaho. Are we? Of course not, dear. You've been going by the wrong map. We're lost. Well, we can't be so very lost. You want to go to Dobson's Lake and we're not in Idaho. Well? Well, Dobson's Lake isn't in Idaho either. Hey, what's that? Thunder. Huh? It's going to rain. Maybe that's why it got dark so early. Oh, well, I hope that trailer doesn't leak on Mr. Dithers. Listen, slow up, Dad, but yeah. there's a sign by the road. <laughs> Golly, why doesn't the Gypsy Queen slow down when I do? Look, Dagwood, huh? the sign says, Camp Crawling, Trailers Welcome. Yeah, it looks like a hobo jungle to me. Oh, dear, it's raining. You know, maybe we ought to stop here, Dagwood. No, honey, if I don't get Mr. Dithers to Dobson's Lake tonight, the least I can do is stop at a nice place. I know, but that's a steep hill just ahead. Oh, we'll make it okay. Oh, maybe when we get up high, maybe we'll see a better place to stop, huh? Well, Here goes. Oh, goodness. I hope Baby Dumpling can keep Mr. Dither's mind off this ride. Yeah, well, look, uh, tune in and, and hear what they're saying back there, Blondie. Hmm? Tune in? Sure. Didn't you see my invention? No. Well, look, uh, pick up that rubber tube that comes in the back window there. Oh, a speaking tube? Speaking or listening. It runs between us and the Gypsy Queen. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> if it works. And sure it works. Oh, oh, Dagwood, it does. I can hear Baby Dumplin talking. Tell me another story. Oh, you like that, eh? Well, that gives me from thinking about a thunderstorm. 
Now, a big boy like you isn't afraid of thunder. I'm scared. Well, 